Do you think there's a lot of alien civilizations out there? So I guess this also goes back to your origin of life question too, yes. because I think that yes. that's key. Um, my personal opinion, looking at all this, and and you know, it's one of my hobbies, physics, I guess. So, so I, I, you know, it's, it's something I think about a lot and talk to a lot of experts on, and 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 read a lot of books on. And I think my feeling currently is that that we are alone. I think that's the most likely scenario given what what evidence we have. So, um, and the reasoning is, I think that you know we've tried since uh, things like seti program and i guess since the dawning of the the space age uh we've you know had telescopes open radio telescopes and other things and if you think about um and try to detect signals now if you think about the evolution of humans on earth we could have easily been um a million years ahead of our time now or a million years behind right easily with just some slightly different quirk thing happening hundreds of thousands of years ago uh you know things could have been slightly different if the meteor had hit the dinosaurs a million years earlier maybe things would have evolved uh, uh we'd be a million years uh, ahead of where we are now so what that means is if you imagine where humanity will be in a few hundred years let alone a million years especially if we hopefully um keep, you know solve things like climate change and other things and we continue to flourish um and we build things like ai and we do space traveling and all of the stuff that 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 humans have dreamed of for forever right and sci-fi has talked about forever um we will be spreading across the stars right and von neumann famously calculated you know it would only take about a million years if you sent out von neumann probes to the nearest you know the nearest uh, uh, other solar systems and and then they built, all they did was build two more versions of themselves and sent those two out to the next nearest systems uh you you know within a million years i think you would have one of these probes in every system in the galaxy mm -hmm. so it's not actually a, in cosmo cosmological time that's actually a very short amount of time so and and you know we people like Dyson have thought about constructing Dyson spheres around stars to collect all the energy coming out of the star. You know that there would be constructions like that would be visible across space, um, probably even across a galaxy. So uh, and then you know if you think about all of our radio, television uh, emissions that have gone out since since the you know 30s and 40s, um, imagine a million years of that, and now hundreds of civilizations doing that. When we opened our ears at the point we got technologically sophisticated enough in the space age, we should have heard a cacophony of voices. We should have joined that cacophony of voices. And what, what we did, we opened our ears and we heard nothing. And many people who argue that there are aliens would say, well, we haven't really done exhaustive search yet. And maybe we're looking in the wrong bands and, and we've got the wrong devices and we wouldn't notice what an alien form was like. It'd be so different to what we're used to. You know, I not I don't really buy that. That it shouldn't be as difficult as that. Like we, I think we've searched enough. There should be if it was, everywhere. If it was, yeah, it should be everywhere. We should see Dyson spheres being put up, suns blinking in and out. You know, there should be a lot of evidence for those things. And then there are other people who argue, well, the sort of safari view of like, well, we're a primitive species still because we're not spacefaring yet, and 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 we're you know, there's some kind of globe like universal rule not to interfere, yeah, you know, Star Trek rule. But like, look, look, we can't even coordinate humans. To deal with climate change, and we're one species. What what is the chance that of all of these different human civilization, you know, uh, alien civilizations, they would have the same priorities and 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 agree across the, you know these kind of matters? And even if that was true, and we were in some sort of safari for our own good, to me, that's not much different from the simulation hypothesis. Because what does it mean, the simulation hypothesis? I think in its most fundamental level, it means what we're seeing is not quite reality. Right, it's something. There's something more deeper underlying it, maybe computational. Now, if we were in a, if we were in a sort of safari park and everything we were seeing was a hologram and it was projected by the aliens or whatever, that to me is not much different than thinking we're inside of another universe because we still can't see true reality. Right. I mean, there's there's other explanations. It could be that the way they're communicating is just fundamentally different, that we're too dumb to understand the much better methods of communication they have. It could be, I mean, I mean, it's, it's silly to say, but our own thoughts could be the methods by which they're communicating. Like the place from which our ideas, writers talk about this, like the muse. Yeah. The, the, I mean, it sounds like very kind of uh, wild, but it could be thoughts, it could be, some interactions with our mind that we think are originating from us is actually something that uh, 
as coming from other life forms elsewhere. Consciousness itself might be that. It could be, but I don't see any sensible argument to the why Why would all of the alien species be behave in this, this way? Yeah, yeah, some of them yeah. will be more primitive. They would be close to our level. You know, there, there, would, there should be a yes. whole sort of normal yes. distribution of these things, yes, right? Yes, some would yes. be aggressive. Some would be, you know, uh, curious. Others would be very stoical and philosophical. Because, yeah. you know, maybe they're a million years older than us. But it's not, it shouldn't be like, what I mean, one one alien civilization might be like that, yeah. communicating thoughts and others. But I don't see why, you know, potentially the hundreds there should be would be uniform in this way, right? It could be a violent dictatorship that the, the people, the alien civilizations that uh, become successful become... Um, uh, gain the ability to be destructive, an order of magnitude more destructive. Um, but of course, the the sad thought, well, either humans are very special. We took a lot of leaps that arrived at what it means to be human. Yeah. Um, there's a question there, which was the hardest, yeah. which was the most special. But also if others have reached this level, and maybe many others have reached this level, the great filter, yeah that prevented them from going farther to becoming a multiplanetary species or reaching out into the stars. And those are really important questions for us, whether mm -hmm. um, whether there's other alien civilizations out there or not, this is very useful for us to think about. If we destroy ourselves, how will we do it and how easy is it to do? Yeah, well, you know, these are big questions and I've thought about these a lot, but the, the, the interesting thing is that if we're, if we're alone, that's somewhat comforting from the great filter perspective because it probably means the great filters were are past us. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure they are. So the, by, in, going back to your origin of life question, there are some incredible things that no one knows how happened. Like obviously the first life form from chemical soup, that seems pretty hard. But I would guess the multicellular, I wouldn't be that surprised if we saw single, le so, single cell sort of life forms elsewhere, uh, bacteria type things. But multicellular life seems incredibly hard, that step of, you know, capturing mitochondria and then sort of using that as part of yourself, you know, when you've just eaten it. Would you say that's the biggest, the, the most, uh, like, if, if you had to choose one sort of uh, Hitchhiker's Guide yes. to the Galaxy, one sentence summary of like, oh, that's clever creatures did this that would be the multi i think that's probably the one that that's the biggest i mean there's a great book called the 10 great great inventions of evolution um, by nick lane and he speculates on 10 10 of these you know what could be great filters um i think that's one i think the the advent of of, of intelligence and and conscious intelligence and in order to, you know to us to be able to do science and things like that is huge as well i mean it's only evolved once as far as you know uh, uh, in 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 earth history so that would be a later candidate, but there's uh, certainly for the early candidates, I think multicellular life forms is, is huge.